Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm here today to show you how to make a do it yourself winch controller for your scale rig. Uh, here's a few things you're going to need for this 60 40 solder. I like to use this stuff here with my solder when I'm soldering. It's a I think it's for uh, soldering copper pipe, but it's a paste. And I just take and I dip the wire or whatever I'm soldering, get a little paste on it, and it works rather well. This is the stuff here, and uh, it, makes it makes it a lot easier to solder. So another thing you're going to need is you're going to need these... Um, It's hard to focus on this thing. It's an MG995 Tower Pro Continuous Servo. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyhow, that's what it is. We're going to be tearing this apart. Uh, this is the receiver I'll be using in that truck. It's already in there. But uh, you're going to want to connect. When you do this, you're going to want to connect to your... Well, it would be channel 3. On this, it's aux 1 or aux 2. But others, it would be channel 3 or whatever channel you want to control your winch with. Uh, of course, you're going to need a, a winch. Uh, there's already one on the truck here. And I have this little solar jig buddy thing here. The jig's up. And it's come in very handy over the years for soldering. I don't know if these are available anymore or not. I picked this up at the local hobby shop a long time ago. Uh, and to disassemble the uh, servo, you're going to need one of these. Um, you know, these come in those screwdriver sets, you know, uh, eyeglass screwdriver sets, stuff like that. Um, they work good for these screws that are on the bottom of it. So, uh, what we need to do here is tear this apart and to get to the piece we need in here. This is, uh, this is a really, really um, cheap way to make a winch controller. I'm not really sure, like, how strong it is. Uh, like, if you were in the comp scene. But I do know it'll pick a, a pretty heavy truck up with a RC four-wheel drive winch on it. So, what we're going to need here in this is this little board right here. This board which is connected to the motor. <coughs> what you're going to need to do is unsolder this and this right here. And then all we're going to be keeping from this servo is the board. Now you can get these servos. I got these, oh, it's probably three, four years ago now. I, I bought eight of them. And there were four packs. And I think they were like $20.99 or something like that. And that was on Amazon. I looked today. There's still plenty of them on there. Uh, they range anywhere from $18.99 to $25.99 for a four pack of these. So you're spending, we'll say $30 if you bought the $25.99 setup, you know, package deal. Um, and you're getting. Four winch controllers for thirty bucks, basically. You know, you tax so thirty bucks, so you're getting four winch controllers. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't really do much else with this servo now. Maybe use some spare parts, and who knows? I mean, it's it is Metal Gears, so I mean, it could be some spare parts for another servo, but it's really, you really can't go wrong. But when you're done, when you unsolder 
the two wires off the board, keep the board. Then you're going to need to get yourself, these are JSTs that connect to the RC four-wheel drive plugs that are on, on there. And you just get, need to get one of these. And then I'll show you in the truck what we got going on here. So I have everything done already. And you plug this JST into the two water two wires that you solder onto this board. Now, if you can see the board is down in there now into the receiver box. Now, here's the board right here. So basically what you're doing is you're you're connecting the motor wires up to the servo board and then you plug them into your auxiliary channel on your receiver and there you have a little tiny winch controller that really works very well so uh, let me get you a bit let me get a battery here and i'll show you it in action Okay, so I'm back, got the battery all hooked up in the truck, and we're ready to go. Uh, I have that in aux, auxiliary one, and yeah, this is it right here. Here you go. Working winch controller for basically $5.00. No problems there. I think this would. Well, I know it would. I've used them. I mean, they work very well. I have them several of my trucks. I figured, eh, I may as well uh, pass the word. I've seen it a few other times. I don't think it was quite as um, involved as, uh, you know, it was a little bit lacking in information i hope i've helped you out here um i tried to start my channel here all oh, a few years ago and um life happened and i never got around back to it but uh i had big plans then and i got big plans now so hopefully you'll uh check this out and like and share and pass the word because i got a lot more coming i have a lot of projects here and a lot to work on and a lot to show. So everybody have a good day and um, hope this was helpful to you. Really do. We'll see you.